Good afternoon and welcome to another video on my channel. Right, another appalling day again for weather. And so today we are looking at the Walkira gimbal and a slight issue I've got where it would appear over the last, uh, I've sort of noticed it over the last couple of flights but never really taken too much uh, notice of it and that is that the gimbal here that we've got is not exactly face on as it should be and it's approximately a couple of degrees off um, it's facing too much uh, inwards so it's coming it's 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 misaligned it's rather than being straight on it's slightly uh, off like this and it's off by a couple of degrees uh, it's quite difficult to show you on the video uh, how exactly off it is but the plan on the video is to show you how to correct this this shot here might give you a better idea of the slight degree that it's out from So step number one is going to be to remove this plate here, which involves removing these uh, rubber dampeners uh, out of the hole um, to just simply take that plate off so we can get access to one of the uh, motors and the shaft, which is just here. Once the plate has been removed, we need to remove these two small screws on either side here to get access to this shaft just in the middle here. Having removed the sensor on the top, here is an Allen key screw that just needs loosening just here underneath and that needs as i say loosening so how this works now is once you have loosened the allen uh, key um screw from underneath here what we're looking at is this shaft here and if you can see it, hopefully in the video, you'll see that it's flat on one side. And the idea is that it has to be flat uh, going facing forward. And if it's slightly out, that's where your problem is. So it needs to be directly in the centre. And the way what you do to get it in the centre is to use a pair of these and it's gonna be difficult for me to do it. But you hold, you center the gimbal exactly in the middle, best you can. Use these to hold it is in the center and at the same time keep the uh, underneath as straight as possible. And then all you simply do is re-tighten the Allen key here, uh, screw again here. So it's all about keeping the shaft with the flat bit at the front. And then once that's as much as the front as possible, you just simply re-tighten it again and plug it all back in and see what you've got. And hopefully, that is the a simple way to fix your problem where you have your uh, gimbal too far to the left or too far to the right. So that centers it by using a sort of fairly mechanical and straightforward centering process. There is unfortunately no way of trimming it whilst it's all plugged in, unfortunately. That is the way uh, that this uh, particular gimbal is set up. Okay. 
so that is it for another video i hope it's you know it's brought you some uh use to you i appreciate it's not for everyone but if you've got a slight problem with your gimbal and you have a slightly uh, left or right facing camera then that's a way of uh, correcting it it's called your basically correcting the your in the meantime uh, this video will be posted as usual on my website dronesco.uk uh, you can find a link in the description below and as well a link to all the other videos that I've done in trying to uh, improve the Scout X4. Um, this gimbal is also available in the Tally H500 as well and um, you can also probably swap it out for the X350 as well although I'm not exactly 100% sure. So please visit my website for more information, uh, up-to-date news on drones and of course a shop if you need to purchase any additional accessories uh, regarding to a gimbal or you might want to think about getting another drone. Certainly at the moment that's possibly in the back of my mind that I will uh, be looking for something different hopefully in the next couple of months or so. But uh, until then, uh, I'll still keep making these videos. So thank you very much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up, uh, whether it's helpful, or whether or not, you know, any of these videos have been helpful to you. And I will catch up with you all again very soon. So till then, take care.